Yolo. Imagine playing a game and every character was the same. There was no opponent to overcome, there was no obstacle. Your character and everyone else's character all had max stats, max everything. There was no way to defeat another character because if you did, it will formulate a sense of inequality, thus pain. Would that be a very fun game to play? What would be the point of such a game? A world where, sure, no one could lose, but also a world where no one could win. With no provided contrast, peaks and troughs, there could be no music in between, no journey, no beginning or end, essentially staying in one spot as an infinitely omnipotent being. Would that not get boring? In your omnipotent prison, if you had the power to step down, wouldn't you eventually step to a place where you could at least feel something again? After all, why would you ever feel such excitement starting a game from level 1 in the first place. This is our human condition, in a world where every being you come across is experiencing their own battles, their own suffering. This plane uniquely provides us the potential to feel through inequality and suffering with challenges to overcome that inequality and suffering. Also, the excitement comes from an uncertainty of if we even will. After all, if you always knew the outcome, would you not? become an omnipotent being once again. The only truth is knowing we know nothing. Whichever direction we may look, we may look infinitely from the smallest portion of the universe to the universe itself. Maybe this world truly is just a simulation generating questions infinitely, not for us to finally come about an answer, but to always have a reason to continue our pursuit. Why? Because if this hypothetical omnipotent being exists, he may now actually feel something. He may finally deviate from the consistent tone of one sound and then forth experience actual music. The music that is your life. Your journey. Both ups and downs which in progression allow you to actually feel more than just a single note. It is interesting to those who are plagued by consistent helpless despair. They become numb to any sensation which is also true to those who are consistently drenched in pleasure, euphoria. They both become numb to their paradigm of experience and the inevitable outcome for both is the exact same. A rabbit hole which leads to oblivion. So what do we do? The truth usually aligns itself along the center line of both poles. The most content people, they live in flow. A world not deficit of any anxiety or uncertainty but full of it with the confidence knowing despite the struggle before them they will be fine it is not their certainty that makes the experience exciting but the uncertainty which when they've overcome innately invites more challenges to their frontier because again what would be the point of playing a game you knew you'd always win it's not knowing that makes a worthy endeavor it's the opposite. This feeling of meaning and excitement has had us climb mountains, split atoms, sail seas, and send ships to space. It has never been about the result itself, but the journey, the process of uncovering the unknown in hopes, we may feel something beyond a single tone. In that sense, the fact we are all individually different, the fact you may win but also lose on a scale individually unique to you, it's what makes our human condition worth living. Every one of us is, in the cosmic perspective, precious. If a human being disagrees with you, let him live. In a hundred billion galaxies, you will not find another. Carl Sagan, Cosmos. In that sense, despite the inequality or suffering each one of us feels, know for that same reason, if you were an omnipotent being, he would see you are perfect as you are now. Think of it this way. In a universe observed to be falling into entropy, what is the point of anything really? The point of any title acknowledging whether or not that person has more, is better looking, taller, richer, the actual end results they've accomplished, the things they've attained. In the cosmic perspective of where all falls into entropy, doesn't it all become irrelevant? If so, then why should we care to embark upon a journey to begin with? 
For some reason or another, you felt like it. You wanted to. Why? Because you felt some meaning in doing so. You felt something beyond a single note or pole. It was the music in between. I believe it is up to us as individuals to figure out why we wish to live, a reason to justify the perpetual suffering evoked by this paradigm. When you are armed with that inner core, things still will not be perfect. But for that same reason, this universe and you as the unique individual you are in correlation will feel perfect for that same reason. Imperfection is beauty, madness is genius, and it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. Marilyn Monroe, you are who you need to be. You are where you need to be. Feel that spot that brings you a sense of meaning and flow to the individual fight life has placed before you. For if there was a perfect omnipotent being, who else would he rather be than you?